Hello everyone, time for another Magicite battle. This time I'm going to be taking a look at Kraken and doing a physical approach. So first for my deck, for my main Magicite, Enlil for the water resistance and attack and lightning boost. And then for the subs, we've got uh, Ixion for water resistance. We've got Mimic Queen for a little bit of extra lightning as well as uh, critical strikes. And same thing with Marlis, she's going to help with critical strikes. And then King Bomb for a little bit of life extra, or a little bit of extra life. And then for the team, uh, Lightning is going to be our heavy hitter here because she's got uh, Overstrike, Arcane, and then her Bravery. And then for her abilities, Thundering, Quad Strike, and Ripper Bolt. Magicite, she's going to be uh, starting with the power of lightning and then, which is figure it, which is fitting because that's her name, lightning. So, and then also the ability to sometimes have your lightning abilities double cast. Tyro, he's pretty much going to be a battery in this one. Uh, Ragin, he's going to be doing life siphon until he, his ultra can kick in and then he's going to be doing spark rush. His Ultra Soaring Dragon, which is nice because it does increase your critical hit chance. And then also does Radiant Shield for uh, Lightning Damage. And then Aerith, you've seen me use her before. Pretty much just Innocent Cure. Uh, I do, did bring Ultra Cure for this one though, as sometimes Kraken does Blind. And then Tyro, again going to be doing Divine Veil Grimoire, as well as acting as a battery for lightning. So my best time has been about 38 seconds. Haven't been able to replicate it though or beat it. The main thing that's tricky about this battle is how Kraken can stop you. So it really depends on whether anyone gets stopped as well as whether the lightning's abilities can double cast. So let's take a look at this fight. So here we go. So I chose a Fabula Priestess as our roaming warrior because we have Tyro covering the attack and then, I'm sorry, Tyro covering defense and Ramza doing the attack. So got that. Again, battle starts out pretty straightforward going to be having Aerith just heal for now. We're not going to need her Innocent Cure for a little while yet. Just again, now that we have our defenses up, uh, Tyro can start getting ready to act as the battery. And as Ramza, of course, is going to be doing his as well. So just waiting for the Magicite to trigger there. So we can get a little bit of water resistance. Okay, I'm just gonna hold it, hold up for there because I want to. Oh, was going to entrust, but I did a quad strike there instead. So okay, now we're getting ready to. Just about ready to entrust Lightning, and she's got her Bravery just about ready to go there. So that's... The Bravery modes are nice. I mean, they impress me a little bit more than the Awakenings. Because uh, the Awakenings, they're, they're helpful, but I kind of like the Braves a little better at this point. I mean, it is nice that you can do a Bravery Soul Break several times during the a battle... Whereas, of course, the Awakenings you only can do once. So it's definitely beneficial if you can have both. And you'll see there that Tyro got stopped. So that's, again, one of those other things that can really, I think, influence your time. Though I guess it's probably best if Tyro gets stopped because this way uh, he's doing primarily battery. So Ramza can still battery. And then this still leaves uh, up, this frees up uh, Lightning to do her DPS because if lightning gets stopped then it's pretty much just restart it because she takes forever to get out of stop for some reason 
have to say stop is probably one of the most annoying debuffs in this game. So, yeah, and then of course uh, blind is pain in the butt too. Especially when you're using, well, well, only when you're using a physical team like this. So we're going to be hitting with the damage cap breaking part of the uh, bravery in just a moment here. So there's thunder and lightning and sometimes that double casts and when it does it's usually just for 9,999 damage but hey can't argue with a free double cast. I personally don't like these boss battles with the multi components because I'm just so used to not having to choose where I'm gonna attack so I had to restart this a couple times because you know, I started out by attacking one of the tentacles instead so yeah I haven't fully level dived Raging yet and I only have a couple soul breaks for him so he doesn't quite do as much damage as everyone else does but here we're gonna hit with the Arcane Overstrike by Lightning in just a moment. So Ramza is going to renew the damage boost. Like I said, I always like watching the enemy damage itself, especially when you've got a chain going and you can just see the uh, damage go up and up and up. So yeah, the Babula Priest is, is certainly helpful because, like I said, since uh, Aerith is not doing a burst soul break, you gotta really be careful with, you know, the with your healing so you don't run out. So we're gonna have Lightning do another do an overstrike and just actually first we're doing her bravery again to keep the Lightning empowerment going. And the next strike that we're going to do with uh, Lightning is going to be her Overstrike. So yeah, this one is kind of close here because, as you can see, we're kind of coming under the wire there. And this is where having that Fabula Priestess is helpful. And I especially like the fact that it's instant. That just really makes it, it really makes it useful. And here we go. I think this should finish him off. Nope, he has just that tiny little sliver of life left. That's what I hate about some of these Magicite battles is, especially when you're first getting used to it and developing your strategy, you know, there's times where it's like you're, you have it down to that tiny little sliver of life and then it hits you with something that wipes out your party. That always sucks. But in this case, we came out ahead and Kraken goes bye-bye. Like I said, I'm not sure how I got 38 seconds before. I think I was using a similar setup to this team. It may have been a little different. But yeah, whenever you're dealing with a boss that does the debuffs, that can certainly uh, influence whether you actually can sub-30 or sub-60 them or not. Well, hope you enjoyed this demonstration of Kraken and if you are struggling with that battle I certainly hope it's helped you out so thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you next time.